Hi, I'm Karen. We're here at Montevilla Sewing Center, and today we're talking about the Genomi 2000D Air Thread Serger. It's a great machine. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about the accessories that come with your machine. So to start off with, we have the instruction book, which is very informative. You also have an instructional DVD, which is very brief and basic. My videos give you a lot more detail. You also have the dust cover. Now the dust cover is really good to have on your machine when you're not sewing because it's gonna keep it, uh, dust and things out of your machine, especially off the tops of your cones of thread. If dust accumulates there, it can get into the workings of the machine, especially the air thread mechanism and cause problems. So make sure that you cover your, machi your machine when you're not using it. Also, your serger thread should be in a drawer or a box, not out on a rack where dust can get on it. Same sort of thing. And then we have the accessory box, and this is what you would put these accessories in when you're not using them. And of course the foot control and the power cord and they are connected together into a single plug right there. You also have the scrap catcher and this catches those scraps of fabric that get trimmed off. So it attaches right there like that. And then over here we have the accessories for the machine. To start off with you have a needle inserter, this is really nice. It, it acts like a handle for when you're changing your needle. You just hold it with this instead of with your fingers, really nice. Now on the other side, there's this spreader um, tool and that's for, um, there's a, a way to change your stitches using a mechanism and this helps move that. That's what that's for. Okay, and then we have a brush. Now the brush is good for brushing lint out of your machine. The lint will happen really easily on a serger because it's always cutting that strip of fabric off and that's the main source of your lint. Lint also happens because feed dogs pull off a little microscopic bits of fabric as they're moving along. So brushing your machine out regularly is important. Over here we have, these are like spool stands, and this is for what you would use for if you have um, regular sewing thread that you're using instead of serger cone thread, like this here. Uh, the cone thread is what you'd normally use, but if you use household sewing thread, so you, you want a specific color, you'd use these as like a thread stand to put your spool of thread on. There's four of those in case you want all four colors the same. And then these are spool nets. Some of your specialty threads, your decorative threads, tend to be a little springy and they tend to want to unspool and just fall off by themselves. You'd put this around the spool, have your thread come in up around the top and it feeds out really easily. Um, knitters use things like this around the ball of yarn when they're knitting to keep that ball nice and compact and but it lets the yarn come out. Uh, nice and smoothly. So there's four of those. Then you have a needle set. We have size 11 needles and size 14 needles. The, the uh, type of needle is HA by 1SP, your instruction manual will say that. Now you get an extra size 14 because these needle packs hold five needles and so that they wanted to fill up that spot there. When you use these needles, make sure you have the same size in each of your needle holders there. Then you have your tweezers. Now the tweezers are really nice. You also notice there's a little bit of a hook here. So if you're threading or you have a loop of thread you're trying to pull through, this is really good for that. Um, also when you're, there's not a lot of clearance here so you can come from behind, catch your needle threads and pull them through that way. It's a helpful tool. Here's an extra uh, upper blade. Now your blades on your serger work like scissors. The upper blade is the one that would most likely be need, need to be replaced as it gets dull. The lower blade is the harder metal. There's a wrench that goes with this in order to change that. I would recommend if you need to change your blade, bring it here to Montevilla and we will make sure that it's the right height to cut correctly. You already have the part here, so it'd be a, a pretty quick change. Um, and speaking of maintenance, um, 
we have this oiler here, and the book does talk about where you can oil your machine, but if you're bringing in your machine for regular maintenance, we can do the oiling here for you. And maintenance probably about once a year is what we recommend for most of our machines. <clears throat> This is a small screwdriver, and this is what you would use for when you change your needles. Uh, it goes right in there. And if you take out one needle and you have the other one in, make sure you tighten down that screw because those are li little tiny set screws and you don't want them getting lost. And make sure you loosen it again before you put in the needle. This is a larger screwdriver, and this is what you'd use to take off the needle plate to clean the feed dogs. Again, that's something that can be done on a uh, regular basis by you, or you can bring it in once a year. We'll take care of that for you. But brushing out your machine with a brush should be something that you do, um, I would say, every time you do a big project, brush it out. Maybe once in the middle of the project, brush it out, and it'll work better. The, as I said, the blades work like scissors, so you want to make sure that there's not a lot of lint between those scissors so they cut well. Okay, this one here is a looper threader. Now the looper threader is for using, if you have a lofty thread like this, see how that's kind of thick and lofty? That doesn't, it's kind of hard to get it through the looper threaders right here. So you'd use this to pull the thread through. In a future video, I'll show you how to thread this machine. Uh, but just know that you have this looper threader right here. So that's the basic accessories that come with your machine. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, if it was helpful, give us a thumbs up. And if you have comments or questions, you can leave those in the area down below. So stay tuned for other videos on this machine and you can see uh, videos on lots of other machines that we have here at Montevilla. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Bye.